Bully and Tommy, it's time to announce the latest edition of the Busted Open family. I'm so excited. Tommy? I'm really excited as well. Wow, Tommy. That is definitely your excited voice. So uh, right now, Bully, you know this is a big announcement based on the enthusiasm just that Tommy just had, so. Uh, I'm excited about the announcement. Uh, I, m- maybe the song that we just played gave it away because uh, this gentleman is a huge Motley Crue fan. So, Dave, take it away. Well, I mean, here's the thing: you just get, you already just threw some major hints out there. Number one, you mentioned Motley Crue because you're right. Our latest edition, our newest host, is a huge Motley Crue fan, and you just said gentlemen because I feel like the dunk tank clue that a lot of people listening probably thought it was going to be a female but that is not the case so do we have a drum roll we don't have a drum roll (laughs) so i will just come right out breaking news here on breaking news it is big news (laughs) the latest edition of to our busted open family i can't be more honored and proud to make the announcement that Nick Nebeth is now part of the Busted Open family. Nick, how are you? And welcome to the Busted Open Nation. Thank you so much. This is amazing. And uh, first and foremost, uh, gentleman does not apply to me, but I appreciate yeah. that. After I <laughs> said it, I, I wanted to take it back. I was like, he's, <laughs> no, he's no gentleman. <laughs> you, sir, you're no enough. gentleman. <laughs> Right away, I got to do the job. I don't have the nicest hair. Bully, you're not the most uh, attractive man on the show. We now got a show best. with abs. Oh. Tommy's got the best man bun. Bully's got the best calves. You guys are fine. We're all set. That's right. We, we make a Frankenstein wrestler of people at work. Separate. We finally have somebody with abs on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a strong muscle of love, but that's a different conversation, Nick. Sure. Uh, Nick, I mean – it's so cool to have you because I feel like you're going to bring so much insight, so many hard hitting opinions and also having fun, which is what we try to do here and entertain the audience. So I really feel like everything that you're going to bring to busted open is a home run for the busted open nation. I, I mean, you've clearly you got my email that I told you to read, but that's, that's amazing to me. Um, someone who loves watching wrestling as you all know uh hopefully my insights of being able to survive for 19 years at 5 11 195 pounds and having no friends in the office somehow that can apply to this but mostly me figuring out what channel wrestling's on will be the best part well we'll help you that's why you have a producer now nick <laughs> um so they'll be able to, to point you in the right direction but no seriously it's, there's so much going on in the world of rest so much going on in your career as well. So I'm looking forward to what you're going to have to say. And you're making your debut. We, you know, we don't know exactly where you're going to fit in our schedule because our schedule is constantly changing, but you and I are going to be hosting this Friday. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Friday first shot. uh, Might as well be in there with one of the greatest of all time. And if they can't make it, I mean, you and I can do it, I guess. And it'll be great. Uh, (laughs) Uh, I'm, yes. I'm looking forward to it. I just feel like the, the, the ins and outs and back and forth. And uh, I already throw jabs at two third, two guys uh, every day. So this is going to be fantastic. And I think it's going to be right into it, rocking and rolling and laughing and having a good time. And when I don't know somebody's name, it'll be funny. It'll be great. Nick, can you, can you give us a little bit of a tease for this Friday? Is there any specific person or storyline or topic in the world of pro wrestling that you want to talk about right off the bat? Uh, right off the bat, uh, since I get a lot of my news from Twitter or X, I would say everybody, uh, for some reason, hating each other if they like it, uh, the other wrestling on the, or the other channels. So I love hearing about that and going, guys, uh, what you like, you like. Some guys do 50 moves, some guys do two, and it works out great. That's why there's a different audience and a different show and all these options. And if those options weren't out there, I wouldn't be able to bounce around and be a part of them. So uh, that is one of the absolute best parts, the almost having some territory days for us to sink our teeth into and judge everything accordingly and differently and giving all those options to the fans. And with all that wrestling out there, there's so much more to complain about. And, and Tommy, already I'm a big fan of Nick. Why? Because he's wearing pink. So he's just one step closer to putting that pink robe on that we're going to be wearing on Saturday, April 6th. Maybe oh, wait, on wait, Friday, Nick, they didn't I... tell you about the pink robe you got to wear? 
Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, just Nick, to uh, brief say. you up on one of the worst <laughs> days to ever be wearing your wife's pink bathrobe. Um, <laughs> there was a wrestler named The Rock who uh, cut a promo and showed a video of the OG Cody Crybaby. Happened to be our very own host, Dave LaGreca, again, wearing the pink robe, which Dave, if you move a little to your left, he could see it. And uh, so it kind of started... Now we have these uh, available on podswag.com. And uh, at the Busted Open Party, we will all be wearing our triple X's, and you could get a women's medium for yourself. So, uh, slim we'll fit wearing... medium. Thank you, Tommy, though. <laughs> Appreciate that. So, so, you know, so, so Tommy and Bully, um, with Nick starting here with Busted Open, Tommy, like, what advice do you want to give Nick before his first show on Friday? Uh, well, this is a very, very serious job. And I know, you know, false count anywhere Friday is good, but you got to be ready for everything. You're going to have to start watching a little bit more pro wrestling. And I know, you know, you're, you're, uh, you will famously don't that. watch. Exactly. Yeah. But you will have to, because you're in, you know, I know I'm part excited of your to. job. And the, my joke about not watching wrestling was because I hated what I was doing. I watched my brother's stuff and everybody else. So <laughs> But it'll be uh, interesting, and and listen, man, the guy the guy has uh, walked the walk and talked the talk. Uh, I personally love him. I have a great relationship with him. I love all the business that he's doing. And when he was in WWE, I would, you know, we'd exchange texts with me and uh, Matt Cardona, and he'd be like, "Who is this? Wait, what are you doing?" <laughs> and but now that he's actually getting to be a part, living it as well as enjoying it, it it's awesome. And, and you know, he's also you know, a current champion in New Japan. He's, uh, you know, not to give away stuff for what he's doing in TNA, but he's really helped boost that business and it, it will continue. But, you know, here's a guy with, you know, so much experience, uh, world champion, held every title in WWE and just really, really going to help benefit this show. Uh, and like he did with everybody else, help it get over even more. Nick, uh, I feel better than much better than when Tommy just went. Oh, there's other guys joining today. All right, good. Like that's mu so much. Better. I like you. You gave us little scraps and then you teased us. I that's I'm my shit. I would I'm say like... I'm crying, but that's also your thing. So. <laughs> Bully, how about advice? Just, not, just not Cody advice? Thing. Um, <laughs> here's what I ser seriously want to know. Like you know, you joked around about the not caring and like guys like me and Tommy, we care so much. And I've said it out loud at times. I wish I could be more like Nick and just <laughs> not give a fuck at times. And and you were great at it. But since you did leave the WWE, did you realize that you, that's just someplace you had to go mentally and not care and that you truly do have a love and a passion for this industry? That's absolutely what it was. And even then, even the last year or two, when I, I just, Fell into the joke more because I wasn't doing much and I hated the 30 seconds that I had. But the rest of it was fantastic. It was so great. And yes, while I was biding my time, I was watching, paying attention to everything else in the world, going, where should I go? Where do I want to, where can the best talent be? Where can I test myself the most? So I had a lot of catching up to do, but I really been catching up. Japanese wrestling, especially just trying to figure out where I could fit in and make things work. But yes, I love it. It's there's an entire world out there. It's fantastic that I've never even seen in person or been face to face with anyone. And there's a million opponents that I've never, ever been even in a locker room with. So I'm excited for the wrestling part, but also the part where I'm learning and following all the, the television aspects of it and pay-per-views and premium live events, however you guys say them, uh, depending on the company, I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. And I hope I have a different perspective, but also someone who's been around for 19 years and been moderately successful like you guys and, and Tommy. Uh, so I think either way, I think, my different opinions and outside pieces can also tie into all this stuff with you guys. I, I think you're going to fit in perfectly because I could tell you're a fucking wise ass. So I can tell right now. Oh, you're going to get that, some arguments with them, Dave. Oh, uh, this is, <laughs> this is, this is going to be tremendous because I can, I can tell right now to stay away from my wife. Um, but no, but I'm really looking forward to uh, having you on. And Friday, we, we dive right in. Uh, Nick, and I, I, this is going to be fun. And you're going to be able to talk to the Busted Open Nation. The great thing about this show is it is two-way talk. So you're going to be able to talk to a lot of our na nation members whenever you're on. So it's it's very, very unique. And, and again, with me, Nick, I'm not an insider. I'm not a journalist. I'm a fan. 
So that dynamic, I think, is going to be a really good one for the audience as well. I think that's great. I took full advantage of that, whether uh, myself and Matt Cardona were building a storyline that wasn't on TV, on Twitter, or just in between when I didn't like what I was doing, but I could still reach out and do Q&As and talk to the fans. That's the lifeblood of the industry. If there's no fans, there's no shows. So getting what their take is mixed with ours uh, and showing like, here's why we think it this way. And I get why you think it's this way. Maybe we can meet in the middle. Uh, I think that's one of the best aspects of social media going today.